Straw Hat Pizza is a chain of pizza restaurants founded in 1959. Thank you for your suggestions. We begin this commercial by closing your eyes. Now, imagine the sensual pleasures of pizza perfected. Straw Hat. Rich. Tangy. Oozing with melt-in-your-mouth flavors. Mozzarella, Monterey Jack. Mm. Smothered with things fresh. So fresh. Delicious. Now. Open wide. You've been dreaming of Straw Hat Pizza. The best tasting pizza you can imagine. Straw Hat. Straw Hat Pizza was formed on July 10th, 1959 by Charlie Olson and Bill Henderlong. They had been working in the industry at the time and felt that they could provide a better tasting product in a family friendly environment. The first Straw Hat Pizza opened in 1960 in San Leandro, California. They picked the name because of the type of uniforms worn by many pizzerias in California at the time. This way, customers would quickly identify with and understand the type of product they sold. Straw Hat Pizza introduced the Charlie Horse, named after one of the founders, as a way to attract in families. This was a free kids ride and was very popular. By 1968, Straw Hat Pizza had grown to 20 stores throughout Northern California. The founders sold Straw Hat Pizza to the Saga Corporation. Saga Corporation was one of the largest food companies in the United States. They owned the Velvet Turtle, Black Angus, a steakhouse, and Refractory, a casual dining chain. Saga Corporation also purchased Pizza Palace and merged the two brands into Straw Hat Pizza Palace. The combined chain had 48 locations. Back in the 1960s and 70s, the decor at the time was wooden benches and tables, red velvet wallpaper, Tiffany-style lighting, creating an old English atmosphere, kind of like round table pizza. In 1972, the name was shortened to Straw Hat Pizza. 1970s Straw Hat Pizza became the place to go for live music at night. It was also around this time when the first video games were introduced into a pizza parlor. In 1975, Straw Hat introduced the Market Fresh Salad Bar. The chain was following in the footsteps of other restaurants that were introducing full salad bars to their restaurants. It also received a decor upgrade with grass cloth wallpaper, booths, chairs, and finished tabletops. By 1981, the slogan was all for fun, fun for all. Straw Hat Pizza also introduces a new logo. This included the three color triangle and it on a brown background. Tim Conway becomes the brand's spokesperson and starts making his very memorable commercials for Straw Hat Pizza. Fueled by the Saga Corporation, Straw Hat Pizza grew to 230 stores by 1980. This made Straw Hat Pizza the largest chain on the West Coast at the time. Growing up in Diamond Bar, California in the early 1980s, there was a Straw Hat Pizza near my house. My brother was able to celebrate his birthday party at this fine establishment. On June 10, 1986, the Saga Corporation agreed to be purchased by the Marriott Corporation. This made Marriott the third biggest food service provider in the United States. Marriott had purchased the Saga Corporation, but it was primarily for the school food service business. They chose to sell all of the corporate straw hat pizza locations to Pizza Hut to convert to their own brand. Of course, they assumed that all franchise owners would switch over as well, but they all loved the brand and products so much that they fought in court to keep the trademarks and the recipes. The remaining 81 locations formed the Straw Hat Cooperative Corporation. 
The Straw Hat Cooperative Corporation was created to support the stores and keep the brand alive. This is a unique form of ownership where the franchisees each owned a share of the parent company. Straw Hat Pizza introduces the new gourmet pizzas into its lineup, including the Lemon Pepper Chicken Pizza, which is still a favorite among many current guests. By 1996, the Straw Hat Pizza chain had shrunk to 60 locations as part of the Straw Hat Cooperative Corporation. By the year 2000, Straw Hat Pizza starts to focus on highlighting all the great things that make a California-style pizza. Thin layer crust, tangy sauce, and a blend of amazing cheeses. The stores also update its look to include larger televisions and a wide range of sports and entertainment decor. Straw Hat Pizza operated under the cooperative model until 2011. This gave individual store owners a large say in the running and direction of the company. Unfortunately, this ownership model didn't show the success they hoped for and the number of locations dwindled. In 2009, the co-op created a franchise company, Straw Hat Restaurants Inc., to move to a franchise model. In 2011, the cooperative was dissolved and the remaining members became franchise owners. Today, all the restaurant brands have their own culture and Straw Hat today is still heavily influenced by the time as a cooperative. Franchisees have lower royalties and marketing fees than their competitors and are run by a board of directors that are current or former Straw Hat Pizza owners. There is currently around 29 locations in and around California. So what are your favorite memories of this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. Thanks for watching.